lots of content kind of jumbled up into this one fitness vlog. So hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you're liking the fitness content and let's shoot into the workout I did this morning. Alright, so I just got a grilled chicken salad from The Habit. If you've watched my channel for a really long time, um, I've gotten this and shared this multiple times, but I take the chicken out since I don't eat meat and I put in a vegan patty. So I usually can like make something vegan from home. I'll just get home and I'll choose like one of these vegan burgers or like meatless crumbles and I'll just do some type of veggie option on top. But The Habit, they actually offer a vegan patty now. So I just have them sub the chicken for a vegan patty. I don't get any dressing because their ranch dressing and their Caesar is very, very high in fat. Um, and it's very heavily like dairy based. So I just choose to go with the Bolt House Farms Creamy Caesar. This is vegetarian, of course, but not vegan. Uh, but it has a lower amount of dairy. And this is actually a yogurt based dressing. So the macros are better since I'm being really strict on my cut and on all of my macros. So 45 cal for two tablespoons, 2.5 fat four carb, and two protein. I'm telling you, the taste on this is unbeatable. They have so many flavors. I always get this from Albertsons. So I basically just get croutons, shredded carrots, Christian's singing, um, cucumbers, grilled onions. I asked them to substitute the raw onions for grilled, and a veggie patty on top. And this is also a lot of volume of salad. So usually, sometimes, I'll split this up into two meals just because it's so incredibly, um, I was going to say fulfilling. It is fulfilling, but filling as well. So yeah, this is just a pretty staple meal for me that I have all the time. It's absolutely delicious, not too pricey, and it's just a really good option if you're on the go. 
So that was my first big meal of the day. You guys know I do intermittent fasting. So I believe it was like 1.30 p.m. I had that salad. And then I just wanted to show you here two of my staple like snack meals that I have. I was just having some carrots and celery along with the no calorie Walden Farms Ranch dipping sauce, which is actually surprisingly tasty for having no calories. It doesn't taste like chemically or gross in my opinion. I really like it. So I just did two servings of the veggies along with that ranch. And then this is also a really good snack option that I love. It's the Quaker Caramel Rice Cakes. So these do have 50 calories per rice cake. Um, it's just, you can also use these as well for like a skinny sandwich. If you do eat meat, you can put like turkey slices on top. Um, here what I'm gonna do though is just use sugar-free jelly and whipped peanut butter because it actually has a lot less calories and macros. As you can see, I was just spreading like a really thin layer on each rice cake and I was weighing everything out just because I wanna be as close to the tea as possible on my macros. I was doing one serving or one tablespoon of the whipped peanut butter and then one serving of the jelly and making a huge ass mess as you can see because I'm five years old. Um, so I was just doing two thin layers of those and then one serving of these unsweetened chocolate chips which was about 70 calories for 30 grams so I was just weighing it out again to be really consistent on trying to hit my macros like literally to a T. Uh, but this ended up being super filling, great afternoon snack, highly recommend you guys try. Um, they also have white cheddar rice cakes which are really really good. Uh, but today I was just feeling like the peanut butter and chocolate chip combo. And as you can see, what am I doing with my hands? Trying to make like a cute <laughs> Instagram picture visual for you guys. But yeah, this was really bomb. And that was what I had before dinner. All right, so it's now like 4.47 p.m. Um, I've been in the car or like out running errands for maybe like two hours. I hope you guys enjoyed all that workout footage and seeing what the first few meals were that I ate for the day. Um, I'm pretty much done with all my errands. I'm about to head home. Just wanted to update you. Let's get home. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner and kind of how I finished off the day in my fitness pal and with all of my macros and we'll kind of close out the video there. All right, moving on to dinner. Um, this was about like 5.45 or 6 p.m. I wanted to do some vegetarian lettuce wraps. I was taking one of those Beyond Meat burgers and I was just cooking it on the stove. Took three lettuce cups here and was just filling them with tomatoes. Here you can add really any type of toppings that you want or vegetables or you could even do rice in there. Um, I did have a cookie earlier in the day though and that one protein bar so I didn't have too many carbs left so I didn't add any rice. I took one fourth a cup of skinny mozzarella cheese and I was just putting this on top of the plant-based burgers and then I put a lid over top it only took like a minute to cook super quick and then once your protein source is done all you do is just chop it up into three little servings to fit each lettuce cup and you're done this is honestly the easiest quickest meal and it's so tasty I know it might look a little basic here but it is really really filling and um, you can always just add more additional veggies this is just something I love and I'm also really lucky to say my son likes this as well